So Raindrops is a pretty unique business. I think most people would agree. There's not really many other companies in the world, let alone Canada, that sort of do what we do. We specialize in uh, rainy day apparel, so that includes umbrellas, raincoats, hats, boots, um, anything that you need really to keep you dry. My family was involved in wholesale, and we wholesale lots of general goods, not just umbrellas, but you know, household goods, hardware, different various things. And uh, over time, we found that sort of the one area where, where we were doing well and there wasn't a lot of competitors was umbrellas. And we eventually saw an opportunity to move not just from the wholesale into the retail end. I think the benefits of working with uh, with family is, is that you know each other very well. So I think sometimes working with you know people who are not necessarily strangers, but you don't know all that well, you may not know how they'll react to something you'll say, or you know you're sort of afraid they might take things personally. Whereas you know with family members, I think you kind of have that push and pull, and you're sort of okay with maybe having a, a little bit of a disagreement sometimes. The number one marketing technique would definitely be word of mouth. So by offering customers excellent service and giving them a good experience when they're here in the store or ordering online as well. Um, on, on that end, we put a focus on having quick turnaround time, whether it's just answering a question or getting their order out in a speedy way. It makes our customers more likely to want to come back to us and also share with their friends and family. So that's definitely been helpful in, in sort of keeping our longevity. I think for most of us in the modern world, we probably agree that social media is now kind of an integral part of our lives. We definitely have a presence on Facebook as well as Twitter and Pinterest. Um, we're looking into getting into Instagram as well, so I think social media is constantly changing um, and we want to make sure that we're at the forefront of that. So it's an opportunity for our customers to stay in touch with us. Our website actually launched in 2001 and initially our thought really wasn't that we would be getting orders online, it was more just as that resource for our customers who were physically in the store. You know, over time, more and more orders started rolling in and, and we eventually shifted our focus and kind of realized, okay, this is an opportunity for additional income. Once in a while, we have customers who need things in a big hurry. Uh, for example, we often work with film crews, whether it be locally here in Canada or in Los Angeles, where you know they need six white umbrellas tomorrow morning, otherwise something's not going ahead. So in that regard, again, the shipping is essential to our business. I think my number one advice for growing a business would be to be patient. I think, unfortunately, there's um, I guess fortunately or unfortunately, a lot of people have dreams of kind of overnight success. And while that can sometimes come, I think the reality is for most people is it's kind of struggling, you know, sometimes having days where you're not sure if this is what you still want to do. Um, but you really just have to sort of keep your eye on the prize and know that if you believe in yourself, eventually other people will as well. And the success will come with time.